Hi there, this is Amy Oztan with amyeveraftercom and I wanted to show you a very simple solution to a small but annoying problem. A um, couple weeks ago I bought a new computer monitor. It's a Samsung, it's one of those, um, those really wide curved screens and I love it. I absolutely adore it and I'll put a link to it in the um, description for this video. But one thing that annoyed me a little bit was that I wasn't able to snap the screens side by side like I wanted because I've got all this real estate now to have three or even four screens open, but the built-in snapping capability of Windows 10 wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, for example, you can snap to the right and you can snap to the left and if you hold down the Windows button and use the arrows, you can do top and bottom. Um, but that didn't really help me. I wanted them side by side. And I tried a bunch of different programs and hated all of them. None of them did what I wanted to do until I found something called Windows Grid. And let me show you that. I'm sorry, Window Grid, singular. And um, you can get it here at windowgrid.net. And it's a free download, which is fantastic. So let me show you what it can do. I have it running. So I'm going to show you the settings. And the most important setting is the dimension right here. I generally have it set to nine by one, but I'm going to change it to three by one just to show you what it can do for simplicity's sake. So with it set to three by one, what you do is you start moving a screen like you normally would. You hold down the left mouse button. And if you add the right mouse button, you can see that there are three separate spaces that it can snap into because we have it set at three by one. And so I can just drop that there. I can do the same thing here. I've got the left mouse button held down and now I'm going to add the right one and I can do that. And then with this third, with this third one, I'm going to show you how you can also stretch it. So I take the right mouse button and I put this in its anchor point, all right? So the part that's, um, that's green, uh, that shows you where the anchor point for this is. So I'm going to anchor it all the way on the right of the screen, and now I'm going to let go of the right mouse button, but I'm still holding down the left mouse button, and I can stretch it across as many of the grid spaces as I want. So if I wanted to have this one very big and this one smaller, I can do that. So let's go back to the settings. Now I'm going to change it to, let's say, uh, 5 by 2. Now, if I hold down the left mouse button and then the right mouse button, you can see there are a lot more spaces to put your windows in. And again, you can stretch them across many. All right, so we can take this one and we can just put it in the corner. We can take this one and um, we could stretch it across those four. So you can really arrange it however you want. And um, now I'm going to put it back how I usually have it, which as I said is nine by one. And I can show you what I usually do. So generally I have one window that I want to take up um, the most real estate and I usually anchor that. See see how half the screen is green? Well, this is a bad example because that window is like all green. Um, so see how half the window is green? That's the anchor point. The part that's kind of bluish green, that's going to be your anchor point. So I'm going to anchor it here. I'm going to stretch it across five screens because this is the screen that I want to see the most of. And then I'm going to take my other two and where's the other one? There it is. I'm going to stretch that one across those two. So now I've got my main screen here nice and big. I've got my side screens here. Um, and that's it. And so it's really customizable. I can't believe it's free. It really only does this one thing, but it does it really, really well. The only downside that I've found so far is that sometimes um, when I'm readjusting the sizes, sometimes it minimizes the other screens that you're not moving. 
I don't know why. Let's see if I can if I can get it to do it. No, it's like taking a car into the mechanic when you can't get it to reproduce the noise. Now that I, I want it to do it, it's not doing it. But sometimes when I'm trying to place things, it minimizes the other windows. It doesn't close them, it just minimizes them. So then when you're all done placing, you have to open them back up again. But it's not a huge deal because it opens them back up in the position that they were in when, they, when, when it minimized them. So that's the only downside that I found. Other than that, I absolutely love this program. Um, again, it is called uh, Window Grid, and you can get it at windowgrid.net. And I will put, ah, there we go. Okay, see, sometimes it does that. Sometimes when you're um, just trying to place something, it will close, not close, it'll minimize the other windows. But then when you're done, you open them back up, and or maximize them, and um, they're right where you left them. So not a huge deal. That's the only little glitch that I've found so far. But anyway, as I was saying, you can get it at windowgrid.net, and I will put a link to that in the, in the description, along with a link to my awesome new monitor, which I love. And if you got something out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button on my Amy Oz Chan channel. Thank you so much.